Good morning, guys. Last week I started on an order of cedar fence boards and ran out of material. So today I'm out here in my back 40, scoping out trees to harvest another cedar. This one behind me is a prime candidate. This tree is missing its top and it's got a pretty bad lean to it. I'm gonna try and take it down without wiping out the also badly leaning tree behind it. This area is uh, got a lot of unique looking trees here. I've dubbed this area the double trident. I have a cedar that's split into three trees and right across from it, leaning the opposite direction is a fir that has also split into three trees. Both of them will eventually need to come down, but uh, for right now, I'm gonna take this one that's lost its top. Well, you can see in my wedge here, the heart rod is just starting on this tree. So it, it's an excellent candidate for uh, harvesting. This tree had a pretty good lean to it, which I'm not sure how well the camera picked up, but as you can see, the heart rod is just getting started. So hopefully we uh, can get some good lumber out of this one. Looks like about 41 inches by about 40. That's a little big for the old wood miser, but uh, I might buck it up a little bit and see if we can get out of this rot. Go take a look at the other end. You can see here that the top of the tree broke off at some point. And there's, there's rot going on, there's bugs in here. So this, this was uh, probably my best candidate right now to uh, take down before it took itself down and we got no usable lumber. Well, let's buck it up and get it up to the mill. I was hoping to get out of the rot, cutting the six footer off, but it's still, about a seven inch circle in a 33 inch round. There's still plenty of lumber in there. I'm gonna take another six footer and uh, we'll see what we got.
well this log just got a whole lot bigger uh i put the large end towards the saw because it's got more rot on that end and i want to gauge my cut uh to where i'm coming out of the rot not not coming into it so um i'm gonna whittle this thing down and try and get some five and a half inch wide cans out of it anyone want to guess how many of these uh fence boards are sitting in this log right here let's find out Unfortunately, during the time lapse, uh, the camera shut off because I got a phone call. So if you guess 60 boards, that's what I got out of that last log. Um, I have a few flitches. I could probably get a half a dozen more boards out of, but I, uh, I'm going to use those as live edge siding on a chicken coop that I'm building. And I probably culled about 10 boards because of uh, either a little bit of rot or some other sort of defect. So. I've got the next section of log up on the mill and it looks quite a bit better, at least on this end. And uh, hopefully I can get, I think I need 52 more boards uh, to finish this order. So get after this and hope I don't get another phone call. Well, I've got 197 boards. I'm gonna put a couple of flitches up and get the last three that I need. And that will do it for milling today. Well, that's 200 fence boards. I don't normally cut them exactly the length, but this uh, is for an old friend of mine. So I cut all of them to exactly six feet. So I got a little mess to clean up and then we're gonna go build a chicken coop. What do you think? Yay. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.